In this video, I'm going to talk about presence within Dynamics 365 Customer Service Omnichannel application. Now, presence is basically the live status of an agent or uh, availability for a particular case resolution. Okay. Now, the presence indicates that the agent is either available, agent uh, is away or the agent is busy or it is in agent is inactive or agent is in an offline mode okay now the presence will give an indication though uh, basically an availability of an agent whether the agent is ready to resolve that case or not okay now the presence can be you know like uh, set uh, within your uh, application uh, and then uh, it's basically a drop value drop down value whereby you select the presence indication now this is again similar to the teams like in within in microsoft teams if you are uh, away then maybe uh, you can set your presence indicator over there uh, and then uh, with that people in your team uh, will be made aware that you are away and then you will not be able to uh, uh, address some request or maybe attend a meeting okay so uh, either the the presence appears automatically uh, uh, based on your uh, uh, availability for that particular case or maybe it you can manually make that changes now where to make those changes i'm going to just walk you through now now i'm in the omni channel for customer service application so let's trigger this application again uh, let me click omni channel for customer service application and let me click on leave okay now omni channel for customer service application is loading the moment it is loading watch what happens in the space okay uh, here and also here there might be some text which may come up which will say uh, getting the present status you know uh, so uh, it will start getting those presence uh, indication of that particular agent now i'm logged in as an agent so here you have seen that it is still getting presence ready okay now what it has done it has displayed this icon over here now this indicates that uh, i'm away okay so that agent is away this agent is basically a uh, supervisor okay and it indicates that the agent is away now if you hover mouse over here it states the status as away okay now if i click on it then you can set your present status as you see here the status is appear away i can select available busy do not disturb offline or something else you know uh, away on tea break okay now uh, let me select available okay so if i select available and if i click on okay then that orange or the amber icon changes to green okay now here this indicates that i'm available and then i can i'm ready to work on a specific case over here okay so this is a basic indication that agent is ready to work on a specific case now how do we uh, configure this presence like if you are not satisfied with what is available out of the box then how do we configure this presence okay so in order to do that what you can do is you can uh, go into say customer service admin center application so i'm in the customer service admin center application and then uh there is presence somewhere within this particular menu okay but if you are not aware of it then you can go into search admin settings and you can type searching presence okay the moment you search presence you will be presented with this top match and then you can click on it or alternatively you can go into productivity under agent experience because this comes as a part of the agent productivity suite uh, if you scroll down you should see yeah custom presence so this indicates that uh, you can set a preference to update automatically or allow agents and supervisors to update manually you can also create custom presences presence will be used when assigning work to available agents so this is an important point presence will be used when assigning work to available agent so if you are not available then quite possible the work may not be able to uh, assign to you automatically as you are not available okay and it will be given to the next in line now how to add a custom presence uh, i'll click on manage over here and i will be presented with a screen which says active presence so let's go through this information one by one the first one is the name okay this is just the name which is uh, which will tell you what kind of presence it is base status now this is uh, how the icon will be displayed uh, tick mark 
screen available and this is a presence text okay this is the presence text what will appear okay so if you see over here in the agent now here uh, i can see available okay now uh, i can uh, also uh, write the description now this description is just like an information which says that uh, it indicates the availability of an agent it, the yellow icon indicates the agent is away or indicates that the agent is busy now if you're not satisfied with what is available out of the box uh, make sure that you uh, create a new one you know now how to create a new one now here you have to make use reuse this icon okay so there is no way out but other than that you can make your own text and make, make your own description okay so let me uh, create a new presence and i will call it as uh, on say urgent work okay and the presence text is uh, on urgent work okay uh, and in the base status i will select to say maybe busy dnd okay and in description i will say uh, indicates agent is away uh, on some urgent work like p1 case or something okay and this is how i uh, create a custom presence and i'll just say save and close okay now this particular uh, custom presence will get added into this list now i've all uh, already created one more uh, list uh, active presence called as away on tea break Kirish, okay now i've created another one which is on urgent work okay now uh, if i refresh this this may you know like uh, persist this information uh, in the back end uh, and if i go into the screen okay let me uh, refresh the screen and see whether the changes are persisted or not it won't be immediately because uh, uh, this particular control uh, takes uh, like say 15 minutes for the changes to get reflected uh, so uh, quite possible that uh, the changes which we have made that status may not be uh, readily available but if you are lucky then uh, some of the changes uh, do get persist very easily uh, and quickly uh, so let's see uh, whether it has persisted that change or not if i click over here if i see status as available then here yes i can see on urgent work so i can make this uh, status as on urgent work uh, and then i can uh, click on okay okay and then accordingly the presence will get changed you know this presence is basically do not disturb and that's why it is coming with a hyphen on a uh, red circle uh, and which indicates that this is do not disturb state okay now that's how you know basically you can uh, set up uh, a an active presence if you're not happy with whatever is presented out of the box so that's it folks this is all about setting up presence in your dynamics 365 customer service omni channel app thanks for watching